Hey guys, it is Vivids and welcome back to another video. So I thought I just wanted to make a quick little um, sort of vlog type commentary video for you guys just to explain, uh, not to really explain, but just to let you guys know what's been happening over the past few days and fill you in with a couple of funny stories that have happened um, on, you know, on the game over the past few days, which has been really, really hilarious and it actually made the game um, extremely, like, a lot more fun than, you know, just grinding, obviously just grinding a little bit fun, which is what I'm doing here. Um, but I'm not going to be doing much more Livid Farm. I've got 650,000 produce, of course. Um, if you miss my road to completion, I'll leave that in the description on the screen and all that good stuff. But I'm not going to be grinding Livid Farm for the next couple of days because I believe on the 17th and the 18th of May, there's a double uh, Livid, pra Livid Farm produce weekend. So I'm going to be smashing out 200k Livid Farm points on that weekend just to finish Livid Farm completely. And then I'll probably move on to the enchantments for the bones of peaches. Now I'm not sure if the if that's going to take too long. I believe it's it's like 200 points in each roll for the um what's it called like the jewel arena uh the pizzazz points. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Oh, is it the magic training arena? I think it's the magic training arena. But it's 200 pizzazz points in each skill, like the tele telekinetic enchantment. Um, graveyard, and there's another one, uh, is it Alchemy? I think it's Alchemy as well. Uh, so they're the four pizzazz point things, I guess, that you need to get 200 points in. But, you know, back to the topic of the video, and that's like, so, yesterday I was doing a little bit of Dungeoneering, because I'm trying to get 120 Dungeoneering, obviously, for the Completionist Cape, and I'm really enjoying Dungeoneering, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, firstly, because I'm learning how to key, and the quickest four that I've keyed so far is about 11 minutes. So I'm still learning. Um, I'll, uh, it, it'd be nice to get a couple of sub sub 10 keys, but I've I've got the two gate stones now because I've completed all of, all of the Demonheim tasks, and I've done yeah. So basically, I've got the Aura four, and I have the uh, Red Gate Stone, which requires um, no runes or anything. So I can just spam the crap crap out of that uh, Gate Stone without any worry for runes or anything. Also, I've got um. At the beginning of every single dungeon, I can get Lore Runes and Cosmic Runes, so I can get 40 Lore Runes and 40 Cosmic Runes. So all I have to do is right-click the Smuggler and hit uh, Claim Rewards, and I get you know 40 Runes straight up, or 80 Runes um, straight up, 40 of each. And that saves me a lot of time. Obviously, I don't have to buy Runes or anything or make Runes, so that's fantastic, as well as being able to quickly create a gate's going to quickly create a gate stone and drop it at base and then um, open the map up and see which way I need to run. But, you know, I'm really, really enjoying learning Dungeoneering. And if you guys are finding Dungeoneering um, like a real grind and you're not you're not enjoying it because, uh, you know, you're you're getting some people that are really, really bad at Dungeoneering and they're just annoying you at Dungeoneering because one, I had one guy uh, that was in my floor, you know, I took a couple of people in because I, I generally take most people um, that trade me and if, you know, if they're, if they're above level like 95 or 100, generally I'll take them. But, you know, I'm starting to lean more towards taking only people that are about 100 or 100 plus, 105 plus because I had like a level of 80 or 90 dude in my team. And there was the room where you have to repair the vase, repair the pillar and put the ring in the jewelry box. And he basically picked up the ring and and kept spam clicking the sarcophagus in the middle of the room. Uh, firstly, you don't even have to touch the sarcophagus in the middle of the room. And secondly, he forgot he had the ring, so he didn't even he wasn't able to fix the uh, jewelry box. Hence, we won't be able to we we weren't able to finish the dungeon. So that really annoyed me. So I just left the dungeon. Um, and now speaking about leaving dungeons, we met this guy called Mr. Tech Fire. Um, <laughs> his name his name isn't actually Tech Fire, but uh, we were in a dungeon. It was 120 dungeon. He, he, oh, he was 120 dungeon. It was he was 120 dungeoneering, and you know, obviously I took him on because he had the 120 dungeoneering skill. Uh, skill cape, so I guess, you know, he'd be pretty good, and he was, he was good, um, but he was, <laughs> we were in a ferret's room, so the room where you have to fish the ferret, cook the ferret, and then throw the ferret, like, throw the cooked vials on the tiles, and you get the ferret running around the tiles, and onto the, um, pressure pad at the end, and that's to open the, that's to open the, um, the door, so what happened was, is, he was fishing the, he was fishing the vials, and, he he started so basically he was fishing the vials and I was under him fishing the vials as well, and he and then he said tech fire so this kind of this really really confused me and everyone else in the dungeon so we didn't really know what was going on. Um, after a little bit of research, Trent and I did a little bit of research on tech fire, uh, but. We believe tech fire is MGT to the fire. So for example the. 
fish spot is on one side of the room and the fire is on the other side of the room. So if you say tech fire, I guess it is, but tech fire is such a stupid term. If you fish the fish, all you have to do is MGT to the fire. Um, you know, that's for the people who play in English or playing Dungeoneering English. Uh, all you have to do is t tell it to the gate stone so you don't have to run around to the fire. Uh, but we found that absolutely hilarious because as soon as we got out of the dungeon, he was standing there. Um, so a bunch of us just started swarming him and asking him, asking him, you know, how many tech fires does he have? If he has tech fires, uh, you know, how... <laughs> and just like, it's, it's just so funny because, you know, that's one of the best moments like I've had on Dungeoneering on this game. Apart from Mr. This Is My Swamp. I'm not sure if I've told you about This Is My Swamp, but this guy dressed up in the solar store gear he was just standing outside dungeoneering and he was just there he was dead silent you know completely decked out in solomon store ogre gear and we started flaming him because he was like level 100 or something like that or he just started the game and he replies with this is my swamp and everyone just started absolutely cracking up it was so so funny um, and this was another, this was another one of those moments you know and these are like the moments that uh, you enjoy the most of playing RuneScape that just hanging out with your friends. Now, obviously, grinding uh, to get to the completionist cape or get to the max cape is obviously uh, very rewarding. In a sense, you get the cape at the end. Um, but, you know, nothing can really beat those moments where you're just hanging out with your friends and, you know, <laughs> funny random crap just happens like Mr. Tech Fire. So, probably going to call this video Tech Fire um, just, just for the hell of it. Um, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed this kind of commentary video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for future videos. Uh, apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.